Uh, I'm going to start out with a man of the forest. The astronomer Tycho Brahe died from a burst bladder after drinking too much at a royal function. An Austrian psychiatrist tells me this while I drive a full bladder up to Vermont. Oh shit, you can die from that? Fuck, one more thing to worry about. I swerve on I-89 to calm me down. He says, it might be apocrypha. Thinking that's something like polio, I almost butt fuck a semi carrying Canadian lumber. Is that like an urban legend? Turning green, his head nods yes. When I was pregnant and went to an alphabet city, O-B-G-Y-N, she asked me if I keggle. Lady, if I kugled a keggle, do you think we'd be having this conversation? <laughs> Six months pregnant, I was driving a government vehicle from Long Island to Fort Monmouth, New Jersey. I had just finished my 20-ounce Dunkin' Donut light and sweet when sperming cars pouring out of the Varazana lost their motility and stopped dead jamming up the mouth of Staten Island. A bloated fish, I prayed to the Kegel God. Yellow fever was my panic button that winter morning. I floated the idea of pulling up my coat, lifting my belly, lowering my stretch pants, and loving an empty cup between my legs. I searched for a straw in the glove compartment. Finding none, I wanted to abandon the car and become a man of the forest. But fuck, I needed my job. When I got to the Betsy Ross rest stop, petrified little drops did not an afterglow make. <laughs> Finally, after delivering a full pee in the Fort Monmouth twilight, burst bladders became star showers, my R's poetica. <laughs> That's a right lady here. So I'm going to read a uh, sort of a Brooklyn poem. Yeah. X and the poem. The X read my poem published online, a third person poem about make believe people in Brooklyn. It wasn't the poem about his black pearl penis wrapped in ropey sapphire veins, or the poem about the same black pearl wagging naked in the cold Iowa night. Not the one about our daughter and the ugly we made for her, or the fire that killed the cats. It was a simple poem for breakfast reading. A poem about the moon landing and, it, and an Italian grandma, a fiction and a lie. The woman he fucked in our bedroom was not in the poem. Pissing on the Christmas tree to put out a, short sto a shit storm is a poem in my future. But thinking Brooklyn, the borough of churches, his birthright, believing this Brooklyn story, his family history, he shoots me an email thanking me for the love poem. Thank you.